Okay, question 5. We have parametric equations. So, x is 4 times 2 to the minus t uh, at 3, and y is 3 times 2 to the t minus 5. We want to show that dy by dx is minus 3 quarters times 2 to the 2t. So what we need to do here is find dx by dt and dy by dt and then do a little bit of magic. To be able to find those derivatives though, I'll just remind you that if y is equal to a to the power x, then dy by dx is equal to log a times times a to the power of x and if y is equal to a to the minus x then dy by dx is equal to minus log a times a to the power x. So, with that in mind, dx by dt is going to equal, well, it's going to be 4 times minus log 2 times 2 to the minus t. Uh, so that is minus 4 log 2 times 2 to the minus t. dy by dt Well, that's going to be a bit nicer, so it's going to be 3 log 2 times 2 to the t. Okay, so now we know that dy by dx is equal to dy by dt times dt over dx. So that's uh, 3 log 2 times 2 to the t over dx by dt. So Minus 4 log 2 times 2 to the minus t. Now, the log 2's cancel out. So we got 3 over minus 4, so minus 3 quarters. And then we got up on top, we've got uh, times 2 to the t, and on the bottom, times 2 to the minus t. Now we can think of that as minus 3 quarters times 2 to the t over 2 to the minus t, which finally does equal minus three quarters uh, e to the two t. Done. And part B wants us to find the Cartesian equation of the curve, so in terms of x and y, in the form xy add ax add by is equal to c where A, B, and C are integers. So, let's think about what we know. 
we know what x and y are in terms of t. So if we can rearrange these equations, um, maybe to get the 2 to the t terms on their own, and then we might be able to do some magic. So, let's start then with x is equal to 4 times 2 to the minus t and 3. Alright. So, take away the 3, x minus 3 is 4 times 2 minus t. Now, if we divide through by 4, we can get x minus 3 over 4 is equal to 2 to the minus t. Now, instead of, at this point, now using logs to get t, let's first of all see what happens to y when we do this. So, we know that y is 3 times 2 to the t minus 5. So, let's add 5, we get y, add 5, is equal to 3 times 2 to the t, divide by 3, we get y, add 5, over 3, is equal to 2 to the t. Now, I was hoping for something like that, what we now need to spot is that we have an expression for 2 to the minus t and for 2 to the t. If we were to multiply those together, 2 to the minus t times 2 to the t, that's 2 to the power of 0, which is equal to 1. Now we also know that 2 to the minus t times 2 to the t is x minus 3 over 4 times uh, y plus 5 over 3. So, we know that this stuff is equal to 1. Now, if I was to be a little bit lazy here, we could say that this is all one fraction and it's all over 12 and we got x minus 3 times y at 5. If we multiply through by 12, x minus 3 times y at 5 is equal to 12. Expanding the brackets gives us x, y. Um, now that we're going to get minus 3y and 5x. Uh, minus 3 times 5 is minus 15. That's all equal to 12. Now that if we add 15, and rearrange a tiny bit, we've got x, y, and 5x, uh, minus 3y, is equal to 27, which is in the form that they wanted it.